old boy. And now, Jane Porter, I turn my attention to you. in the jungle. <laughs> but I dare say I can jerry-rig this waffle iron. Oh, good heavens, forgot breakfast again. What are you doing, Professor? Uh, oh, yes, I, I'm building a radio, dear boy. A two-way radio. Against my better judgment, I ask, what's a radio? Oh, it's a device that allows us to communicate with people very far away. Like people in England. Oh, I should hope so. Love to see who's winning the test matches in cricket. <laughs> now, I just need one more wire for the tuner. I was here somewhere before. I oh, dear. I appear to be all out. But this might do the trick. Ow! I thought you humans were big on please and thank you. <laughs> ah, there, you see? Oh, this is a favorite. <laughs> oh, Daddy Strauss! How delightful! Oh, come, Tarzan, dance with me! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hmm. Looks like I'll need another hair. <laughs> oh, that was very nice, Tarzan, but not quite a waltz. What is that? Well, it's a three-step ballroom dance in triple meter. No, what is that? Big duck. It's an aeroplane, and I think it's in trouble. It's headed for the river. Oh dear. Uh, perhaps I can pick up the pilot on my radio. Are you all right? Unhand me, sir. I'm an officer in Her Majesty's service. I, I thought you might need help. My good fellow, I have yet to meet the trouble I cannot handle. Bobby? Bobby Candler? I, I can't believe it's you! <laughs> Brainy Janie! Surprised to see me? <laughs> Absolutely! What I miss? What I miss? The beginnings of a very juicy love triangle. Oh, sweet. This could get good. Whatever are you doing here? Oh, you know, on a mission for the Queen. But she was good enough to give me a few days off, so I thought I'd pop down and look you up. Oh, I'm so glad you did. However did you find me? My dear, your friend Hazel is the biggest gossip on the British Isles. I think all of London knows you're here. I'm Tarzan, Jane's husband. <laughs> Sorry, Tarzan, this is Robert Candler. We, we, we practically grew up together. Robert, this is Tarzan. Ah, <laughs> yes. The chap who came to my rescue. Sir, you have deprived England of the finest woman in the Empire. Congratulations. Thank you. Now leave. <gasps> Tarzan, <sighs> where are your manners? I don't trust him. When I look in his eyes, it's like Sabor is looking back. Who the devil is Sabor? <laughs> 
Frank, you, you're being ridiculous. Uh, I've known Bobby since I was five. He's my oldest friend. Help! Fire. Daddy! Oh, it was just getting good. Shall we leave the flying to me? Daddy! Are you in there? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, my latest attempt at radio has had some rather incendiary results. Sorry to steal your fire, old boy, but it was beginning to look a bit nasty. Are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> I am afraid your radio will need just a bit of retuning, Professor. Yes, quite so. I, um, do I know you from somewhere? No, 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 don't tell me. You are my cardiologist in Khartoum. No. Theologist in Algeria? <laughs> no. The uh, urologist in the Urals? He was our next-door neighbour in Knightsbridge, Daddy. You remember Robert Candler? Little Bobby Candler! Why, of course! All grown up now, I see, eh? What? Splendid to see you, dear boy. Say, you uh, wouldn't by chance know who's winning the test matches in cricket, would you? England over Australia by eight wickets. Oh, bully! Spot on! Good for them! <laughs> Oh, Bobby, I simply don't know how to thank you. Well, it was a long flight, and a spot of tea would do wonders. Oh, absolutely. Coming, Tarzan? No. He's a bad man, Jane. My, my. Look who's jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't trust him. You don't trust Robert? Very well. You certainly trust me, don't you? Well, yes. Well, then that should be enough. Please join us when you're in a more civilized mood. Apologize for Tarzan, he's not usually like that. Oh, I suppose he's feeling threatened or some other thing. Where is it? Where notes. is it? As if there could be anything between us. I mean, you're practically a brother to me. Uh, yes, yes, uh, quite right, Jane. Where is it? <laughs> Good heavens! <laughs> Robert, are you snooping? Um, yes. <laughs> Caught me uh, red-handed, I'm afraid. <laughs> Jane, do you recall a small music box I gave you just before you left London? Hmm, I believe so. Porcelain, wasn't it? That's the one. Uh, you don't happen to still have it, do you? Well, I might. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It, uh, it was my mother's, you see, and, well... There's someone back home I'd very much like to give it to. Well, I'd best have a look then, shouldn't I? Hmm. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jane. Ah, right. Now all I need is that bit of wire. Perhaps a bit of nice, wiry elephant hair will do the trick. Uh, don't mind me, I just need to borrow a strand or two. Oh, stop! I have sensitive hair follicles! Come now, in the name of science! No, 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 no! Tantor, come back! The cricket match is about to start! Let's go over this one more time. You didn't go with them because... I don't like tea, and I don't like Candler. And you're jealous. I am not. Right! Why would you be jealous? I mean, sure, Candler's dashing and cultured and well-groomed. In other words, everything you're not. So why would you even consider being jealous? Maybe you're right. I thought there was something else, but maybe I am just jealous. Tarzan, Jane loves you. And you should know by now that ain't ever gonna change. Ever! You're right, Turk. Thanks. Humans. They make this relationship stuff so complicated. <laughs> ah, here it is. Excellent. Thank you, Jane. Don't thank me yet. We'd better make sure it still works. 
Oh, this takes me right back. Robert, do you remember the dance classes that we took as children? Ah, yes. And as I recall, you had two left feet. I'll have you know, I've become quite an accomplished dancer. Mm, I'm sure you've picked up a few steps from the gorillas. Sir, prepare to eat your words. <laughs> Here it comes. Whoa! Tarzan? Oh, dear. Robert, I'm afraid Tarzan has gotten a dreadfully wrong idea about us. Terribly sorry, Jane. Well, perhaps I should just take my music box and ship off. Well, under the circumstances, I, I do think that that would be best. Oh, I'm sorry that you came all the way here only to... Oh! Well, what's all this? <laughs> Robert, you're, you're not some kind of secret agent, are you? Actually, Jane, it's more like a double agent. Terribly sorry you stumbled across my code machine, Jane. Code machine? <gasps> a British code machine? Quite. And the chaps on the other side are willing to pay handsomely for it. Then why did you give it to me? Ah, <laughs> British intelligence was hot on my trail. So, as you were leaving the country, I slipped it to you for safekeeping. Of course, I never expected you to stay in Africa. Robert, you're betraying England. How could you? Hmm. Is it too lowbrow to say I did it for the money? Perhaps. Is it too highbrow to say? God save the Queen! Always was high spirited. <laughs> All right, Jane, time to stop being a clumsy Clara and use what Tarzan's taught you. Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> Well played, Jane. But I simply can't have you running off and telling others about me. The crown takes a rather dim view of high treason. Now I promise you, that was the last warning shot. Hey, old chap. Good show. Who are you? Uh, oh, uh, yes, I suppose proper introductions are due. Captain Nigel Taylor of Her Majesty's Royal Air Force. Counterintelligence Division. Your friend is already here. Friend? Robert Candler. Sir, Robert Candler is not my friend. He's a rather dastardly scoundrel. Are you sure you're not just jealous? Jealous? Candler stole secret codes. He betrayed our country. He, he shot me out of the sky. He betrayed your family? You might say that. My good fellow, Robert Candler is a bad man. A very bad man indeed. My apologies for the Spartan accommodations, Jane. I hope you're comfortable. Fit to be tied, actually. I'm sorry it has to be this way, Jane. I truly am. Jane? Blast! Can 
has eluded me again. Tarzan, where are you going? We, we can't possibly stop him now. You can't, I can. My, how dramatic. Oh, what a bothersome chap. Your Tarzan's a tenacious fellow. You have no idea! Blasted man, fall off already! Let Jane go! Sorry, old Bean, that's not an option! Tarzan, no! Someone has to fly the plane! Oh, preferably someone who knows how! Oh, I Daddy got that radio working. Oh. As I told you before, I have yet to meet the trouble I cannot handle. Um, Professor? Yo, Professor, you here? All right, the coast is clear, Tantor. Whew. The last thing I want is him plucking one of my precious hairs. Oh. Uh -oh. Got it. Ow, ow, my scalp, my scalp! And, uh, yo, actually, it didn't hurt a bit. Of course it didn't. I'd never hurt a friend like you, Tantor. Perish the thought. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we'll finally be able to listen to those cricket finals. Ah! Daddy, can you hear me? Janie, whatever are you doing at the cricket finals? I'm aboard Robert's aeroplane, <laughs> which brings up an interesting topic. You don't happen to know how to fly a plane, do you? Oh, well, I have read a thing or two on the subject. Uh, uh, now, let's see. Hmm. I believe you push forward on the yoke to tilt upwards. Ah! Or is it pull back? Pull back, pull back, pull back! Ah, yes, I believe you're right, Jane. It is pull back. Sounds right to me. Oh, suddenly you're an expert. Now, landing is quite simple. Just keep the nose up. Yes, indeed. Ha! I hope you don't think me ungrateful, Tarzan, but I have a code machine to deliver. And don't try to follow me, or I shall be forced to cut this vine. Oh, and Jane, it was ever so good seeing you again. Ta-ta! I wish the feeling was mutual. Thank you, Jane. So, Tarzan, no harm, no foul, right? Land the plane, now! Just thought I'd ask. That ought to hold even a scoundrel like you, Candler. Don't worry about me, Janie. With the possible exception of Tarzan, there's no trouble I can handle. Perhaps the courts may have a different opinion. Goodbye, Robert. Not goodbye, Jane. Just until the next time. <sighs> well, your instincts were right, Tarzan. Robert was up to no good. 
Yes, but he did save you. So maybe there is some good in him. Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.